Have you ever had an experience like this? You're thinking of someone that you haven't seen in a while. The phone rings, and there he or she is. Or maybe you walk around the corner of a building, and bang, you walk right into them. Think about that for a moment. In, a, in just a moment, my guest, Dr. Deepak Chopra, you've heard all about him. We're going to talk about this in his fascinating new book called The Spontaneous Fulfillment of Desire, Harnessing the Infinite Power of Coincidence. Dr. Deepak Chopra is known as one of the world's greatest leaders in the field of mind-body medicine, and he continues to transform our understanding of the meaning of health. Through his creation of the Chopra Center for Well-Being in California, he is revolutionizing common wisdom and the crucial connection between body, mind, spirit, and healing. His mission of bridging the technological miracles of the West with the wisdom of the East remains his chief goal, and he and his colleagues conduct public seminars and workshops providing training for health care professionals around the world. Dr. Chopra is a fellow of the American College of Physicians and a member of the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists. He is my special guest tonight on Coast to Coast. Doctor, welcome to the program. How are you? I'm really good, George. How are you? Oh, my pleasure. Your, uh, your schedule continues to be very busy, uh, as it has been over the past few years. Yes, and, but I'm enjoying myself in that what's count. Good for you. And, and you know what? A lot of people who have read your very many books over the years uh, have, uh, have told me how much you have touched their lives, how much you have helped them with your writing. What, what I've always wanted to ask you, uh, years ago I, I said to myself, if I ever have an opportunity to talk to you, one of the first questions will be is, what happened in your life? Was there anything profound that changed you, that got you into thinking the way you think now about all these various aspects of mind and body and spirit and healing? I think the most important thing happened was that um, when I was practicing medicine, in Boston after I had finished my training in internal medicine. Um, I was struck by the fact that you could have two patients who had the same disease, took the same medication, saw the same doctor, and still could have completely different outcomes. One could recover completely, and the other might succumb to the disease and die. Mm -hmm. And I began to wonder what was going on. And then, you know, every physician who has been in practice for a while, we'll see patients who recover and and they're not supposed to. They um, have what is called a spontaneous remission. So, you know, they have a terminal illness and according to everything you know, uh, there's nothing you can do about it. And yet, for some inexplicable reason, they completely recover which meant that there's some ability to heal in all of us, and we just don't know what it is. So we dismiss it because it's rare. But if even if it's rare, if it occurs, then me, that means there must be a mechanism. And if you're a scientist, then it is our job to figure out what that mechanism is. Because once you can figure it out in one person, then you can help somebody else with that. Sure. Sure. Did you did you find that a lot of mainstream medicine, mainstream doctors and scientists probably wouldn't subscribe, prescribe to something like this? In the beginning, not. But, you know, we've seen big changes in the last 15 years. Now at the Chopra Center for Wellbeing in California, we give courses for physicians. We certify them. And actually, our courses are approved for the Physician's Recognition Award by the American Medical Association. We give them through the University of California School of Medicine in San Diego. We have medical students coming through us. I personally have lectured at other medical schools, including Harvard. And so there's a big shift in the consciousness of physicians now. And, and you're finding that the enrollment for the seminars continues to increase, which, of course, is a barometer for what's going on out there. Right, and particularly for physicians and nurses, that's very gratifying. This new book that you've written I, I find to be absolutely fascinating, uh, The Spontaneous Fulfillment of Desire, but specifically the 
harnessing the infinite power of coincidence. It's, it's ironic because I have all my life said to myself that, and we have, we, we get to the end of the road the same way. I've said that there are no coincidences, that things happen because of synchronicity and there are reasons. And darn, as I read more and more of the book, and then as I got to the end, your views uh, have been right on the button with that. Well, thank you. You know, the word coincidence is not really a bad word. When you say just a coincidence, then we trivialize what is actually a miracle. Coincidence means to coincide. So when, he, when many events in different locations coincide around a meaning or a purpose, that's a coincidence. Similarly, the word synchronicity means chronos means time, synchronous means synchronized in time. So when many incidents are synchronized in time around, again, a meaning or purpose, then we call it synchronicity. That word was first used by the Swiss psychologist Carl Jung, mm -hmm. whose friend uh, Wolfgang Pauli, who is a physicist, also called it meaningful correspondence. And, you know, my work is as a biologist, as a physician, it's obvious to anyone who looks at biological organisms that um, our cells work synchronistically. How else could a human body think thoughts, play a piano, kill germs, remove toxins, and make a baby all at once? Yeah, exactly. The only way it can do that is the cells meaningfully correspond and coincide and synchronize their activities with each other. And today physics is telling us that there's a level of nature where everything is connected with everything else. And when we experience a coincidence in our life, we've tapped into that for a brief moment. So at that level of nature, the wisdom traditions, of course, call spirit. But, you know, physics calls it a non-local quantum mechanical level where everything corresponds to and is coinciding with and synchronizing with everything else. I bet these episodes are occurring in people's lives all the time, but they're probably not aware of it, or it comes and it goes so quickly that they don't capture it. That's it, right, it, and it, also they, they, they don't notice it, or they don't pay any attention mm -hmm. to it, or they ignore it, and you know, when, when you ask really successful people how they got where they got, they'll always say, I was lucky or I happened to be in the right place at the right time or God was on my side or, you know, there were many coincidences. Uh, religious traditions have called this the state of grace where it seems like, you know, you, you connected to some creative power that is orchestrating your intentions or you might say you're spontaneously having the fulfillment of um, your desires. Or, you know, if you don't believe in religion or God, you say, it's like a cosmic computer is, uh, you know, listening to my intentions and orchestrating their fulfillment. I, and and I, can, I can envision that, too, mm -hmm. a cosmic computer, albeit God or anything else, mm -hmm. that's getting this done. Why is it for some people that this occurs more often uh, than others? It depends on your awareness and your openness to possibility. If you're the kind of person who's very constricted in your awareness, always worrying about what could go wrong or anticipating responses or working too hard in your planning, not in the moment but also always concerned about the future or the past, then it's unlikely that you will notice what's happening around you. So, you know, it does require a kind of a present moment awareness. That's one thing. Secondly, it uh, requires um, getting in touch, you know, with your soul. Your soul is that part of yourself which is, in fact, non-local and connected with everything else. So when you're not ego-bound, when you're not looking for approval or disapproval, where you don't think of yourself as being inferior or superior and you just basically have a song in your heart and you're lighthearted and you're uh, anchored in the present, then it's much more likely to happen. You're absolutely right. It, it seems when you when you when you just sit back and let events unfold, 
things generally happen for people yes. as opposed to pushing and struggling and trying. And, 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 and that's not to say we shouldn't prepare ourselves for things. No, I, mean, I mean, you know, you water a seed and then it grows. It provided the... Dr. Deepak Chopra is known as one of the world's greatest leaders in the field of mind-body medicine, and he continues to transform our understanding of the meaning of health. Through his creation of the Chopra Center for Well-Being in California, he is revolutionizing common wisdom and the crucial connection between body, mind, spirit, and healing. His mission of bridging the technological miracles of the West with the wisdom of the East remains his chief goal, and he and his colleagues conduct public seminars and workshops providing training. Have you ever had an experience like this? You're thinking of someone that you haven't seen in a while. The phone rings, and there he or she is. Or maybe you walk around the corner of a building, and bang, you walk right into them. Think about that for a moment. In, a, in just a moment, my guest, Dr. Deepak Chopra. You've heard all mean for healthcare professionals around the world. Dr. Chopra is a fellow of the American College of Physicians and a member of the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists. He is my special guest tonight on Coast to Coast. Doctor, welcome to the program. How are you? I'm really good, George. How are you? Oh, my pleasure. All about him. We're going to talk about this in his fascinating new book called The Spontaneous Fulfillment of Desire, Harnessing the Infinite Power of Coincidence. 